Now that I've definitely put you off eating, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to use some Filmoy clay. I'm also going to be using some water and then a sculpting tool. Now if you don't have a sculpting tool, you can use the end of a pen, a pencil or just your fingers. Now what you want to do is try and replicate the joint. So I'm going to be using this part of the finger, but then the top part of this finger, what I'm going to do is make it look like it's been completely ripped off and it's all jagged around the edges. I'm going to dip the clay in some water just to make it a little more pliable. Then I'm going to take a small chunk to start to mould the first part of my knuckle and then I'm going to mould the second part of the knuckle which is going to slot right on top of it and you want to make sure that the end is really ripped up you can use a knife, you can use your fingers, whatever you want to get this effect and make sure that the two fit in each other and that it's roughly the same size as your thumb to give the bone a little texture I'm going to get a rough flat brush and I'm just going to dab this all over the bone you don't want to do this while the clay is still a little too wet if it's too wet it's going to deform it a little bit and it's going to lose its shape wait till it's not too far off from being dried completely that way you can be a bit harsher with it without making the whole thing completely lose its shape after that I'm going to take some latex and I'm going to start to create the little ligaments I'm going to use the plastic sheet as the base just so that this is easy to peel off afterwards then I'm going to be using the end of the sculpting tool just to draw out the shape that I want and then I'm going to keep layering this now I'm going to layer this an awful lot. I think in total I placed something between 8 to 12 layers. The reason for this is I wanted some texture on these little ligaments. I didn't want it just to be flat and, well, flat. I wanted it to have ridges on it, lines that go along it as well. So you want to layer it up more and more and have some very thin lines and some very thick lines as you can see here. Then wait for them to dry. I added some thickener to the latex and now we're going to have the fun part where we're going to stick down the finger and start building the rest of the torn skin around it. So I'm going to take a blob of this, place it at the very bottom of the bone and then I'm going to stick it where I want on the finger and then you need to wait for it to dry. This part is going to take a while, especially the more latex there is at the bottom, the longer it's going to take. So if you want to have quite a thick base, try and do it in layers and wait for each layer to dry. Now while I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm going to dust some powder over those latex strips that I've done. You've got to dust the powder over it, because otherwise when you peel the latex off, it's just going to stick to each other. Next we're going to layer the strips of latex. I'm going to be putting some latex at the very bottom of the dry latex strip, and then attaching the very top to the bone. And then I'm going to be layering the smaller strips over this, and then on the opposite side. The large strip of latex I've attached to the very top of the bone, but as for the smaller ones, I'm going to be cutting those into very thin strips at the end so that parts of them are going to hang loose. This is meant to look like the top of your finger has been torn free, so there are going to be a few muscles and ligaments which are going to hang free and wobble around a little bit, so I want to replicate that. Once they've been stuck down, I'm going to be using some scar wax. Now the easiest way to get little strips of skin is just to get one of those very simple paint mixing tools and then cutting very thin strips in the tub, putting that down on your hand and then blending it out with a tool. Personally, my favorite way to blend out the edges is to use a mixture of a steel tool, my fingers also because that helps get a texture onto the scar wax, which is going to look a little more realistic than just having it flat. No one's skin is flat. It always has texture and ridges and bumps on it. So by using your fingers, you can help basically put your own fingerprints all over the scar wax. But if that doesn't work, what I like to do is get something like a lip balm or a cream and then use that to lubricate the very edges of the scar wax and then blend everything out. Once you've blended out the edges, it's time to go in with a colour. I'm going to be using a blood wheel for this and I'm going to be using not quite the darkest red but the second darkest red and making sure that the inside of it is lined with this, especially on the skin and then I'm going to run thin little lines right down the ligaments and tendons.
around the very bottom of the bone I'm going to be using the Ben Nye Thick Blood and we're just going to keep this at the very bottom where the skin and the bone just start to separate. After that I'm going to be using some lighter coloured red food colouring. Now if you don't have red food colouring you can also use fake blood, it's whatever you have to hand really. I'm going to run that fake blood right down along the bottom of the wound and then I'm also going to run it up the ligaments and I'm especially going to put a very thin line of it right through that joint and then to help the blood spread around a little bit more organically I'm just going to spray some water onto the very tip of the bone. Now because this is made of filmo clay it's going to spread quite easily once it's wet and it's going to end up in all those little textures that you've done earlier when you were adding those little lumps and bumps into the bones and it's going to make it look a little more realistic. Finally I'm going to finish off with some pustule filler along the ligaments and then around the joint just to make everything look all oily and disgusting and uh, very puke worthy. And that's it, you're done.